My topic says, break up your fallow ground. We are going to be doing this very message from the book of Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's read. He said, For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among tongues. He said, The Lord said to the men of Judah, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among tongues. Shall we pray? Father, I thank you, Jesus, for this moment of time. I demand, give us your grace behind this very message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the Lord said to the men of Judah, Break up your fallow grounds, amen, and sow not your seeds among tongues. You have to break up your fallow ground and sow not your seed among tongues. What is a fallow ground? In agricultural science, we have been taught that uh, when in crop rotation, the process of leaving your land to follow, follow means to allow it to gather nutrients back. While you leave that land, you go to another land to farm. But before you come back, then the land might have received nutrients and gain strength back so that you can use it for farming. Because for a period of years, you might have used the land. It has lost its strength and value. Now it has, you, you left to follow for some time. To, to follow me, you left for some time to go to other land to farm. And so now, God is saying, break up your fallow ground, which you have left for some time, and do not sow your seed among thorns. So your fallow ground represents your heart, your mind. Your mind, you have left your mind open for the enemy. And you have left your mind open. And so for some time, the Bible says, the man, they cast away evil spirit from him. And after the demons have seen, amen, that is uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 43 to 45. He said, when an evil spirit is cast away from a man, and when he was been saw that the, 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 the heart is garnished and empty, he will go and gather more demons to occupy the heart. So you have left your heart for some time, and you are allowing it to gather momentum. And if you don't use your heart, if you don't use, if you are not busy with it, the enemy can occupy it. So you have to keep your mind busy. And so those tongues means, you know, when you leave your land to follow for some time, then the land begins to gather strength. As it gathers strength, we begin to grow. Tongues begin to grow. Different things begin to grow on the land. So that is how the heart of a man. When you allow your mind to be left alone without putting the word of God, without clearing yourself from unrighteousness, then the enemy begins to occupy it. So what you have to do now, your, your, your heart is a fallow ground. Break up that fallow ground. And do not sow your seed among tongues. Your mind needs to be occupied with the word of God. Your mind need to be occupied with, with good messages. Your mind need to be occupied with good news. So you have to fill your heart with the word of God, with the good news, and be busy for Christ. So break that very heart that you have left for a long time without putting it to use. Break it now. Break that fallow ground. The fallow ground has been left for some time. And you have been busy. But now do not let wheat grow on it. So the wheat and thorns are the evil men that might start to sow tasks, that might start to sow evils, that might start to sow unrighteousness, that might start to sow unrepentance in your heart. God said to the men of Judah, He said, sow not among thorns, break up your fallow ground. So my topic is the same thing, break up your fallow ground, and do not sow among thorns. It is time to sweep your mind. It is time to allow God to walk, and allow God to manifest. The Bible spoke of Matthew 7 verse 6. Say, cast not your peers among swine. So your peers are valuable things. 
those your land you have left for some time, they are valued. Don't let the enemy begin to trample on it. So do not cast your peers among thorns. Break up your fallow ground. It is time to get up. It is time to walk for the Lord. It is time to seek the Lord's face. Let's read verse, verse 4 of the same Jeremiah chapter 4. Our text is taken from verse 3 and 4. We are read verse 3 and verse 4 now. Praise God. Verse 4 says, Circumcise yourselves in the Lord and take away the false kings of your hearts, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lest my fury come like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. What did the Bible recognize? And it says, Circumcise your heart, men of Judah. Circumcise your heart, says the Lord, and take away your false king. Circumcise your heart. It is time to break up your fallow grounds. Your fallow ground you have left for some time. You come now, begin to put to use. Circumcise your heart and let God walk through your mind. If you hear me, say amen. The Bible says, Psalms of Solomon chapter 2, verse 15. Remove those swine that are spread divine. The there are some certain things that represent swine which are causing problem in your family, in your mind. Remove it and let God walk in your heart. Our topic is says, break up your fallow ground. Break it up. Let God walk. Put your heart to use. Put your talent to use. Put your gift to use. Amen. The Bible of Matthew chapter 25, Amen. verse 18 to 21. If you read verse 18, God gave a man talent. He went to dig it and cover it in the soil. But if you read verse 19 to 21, you see that somebody that God gave five talents, he went to put it to use. He broke his fallow grounds and began to use it and begin to prosper. And the Bible says he made five talent gain. And the Lord came and rewarded him to give him five cities. But he that he gave one university went and buried his talent. He went to cover it up. He refused to break his fallow grounds. And God said that he was punished for not using his talent. You have to put your talent to use. Break up your fallow ground, ladies and gentlemen. Put your talent to use. Put your gift to use. Now it's time to, otherwise the enemy will occupy you. If you don't use your talent, the enemy may occupy you. Break up your fallow grounds. Amen. And sow not your seed among tongues. Hallelujah. You have to clean your mind now. Break it up. Clean your mind from unrighteousness. Clean your mind from evil. And let the power of the Holy Spirit work in your heart. That was what God was telling the people of Judah and Jerusalem. They should clean their mind. They should clean up so that the enemy will not occupy the heart. If you hear me say amen. If you go to Hosea 10 verse 12. It's the same message that is there. Hosea 10 verse 12. He said, break up your fallow grounds. It may ye people of Israel. We have to break it up and let God have his way. The Bible says that if when the Lord shall come, shall he find faith on earth? If the Lord shall come, now look at verse 8. Will he find serious people? Will he find busy Christians? Are they breaking their fallow grounds? Are they breaking it? Are they sowing good seed in their heart? Is their heart clean to receive Christ when he comes from heaven? Let's and gentlemen, my topic is the man. Break up. Your fallow grounds. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, keep yourself busy for the Lord. Amen. Remain pure and remain righteous. Because your Lord has traveled. And because it's going to come back some time to come. And you begin to do evil. He said, no. Put your talent to use. Let the Lord be received with happiness. That you are putting your talent to use. That you are breaking up your fallow ground. That you are busy for the law. That you refuse to allow the enemy to occupy you. But rather let the grace of God occupy you. Hallelujah. May God help us and give us his grace to break up our fallow grounds and put it to use while we are waiting for him. Praise the Lord. Amen.